I'm gonna show you the very easy, very simple way to do isometric drawings where you can get it right each and every time. Now, what is isometric drawings? Isometric drawings are really a 3D vision, a 3D drawing on 2D paper. I'm gonna draw it flat, but you're gonna be able to position it to where you can see the way that it lays out. Now, isometric drawings are really simple to do if you'll learn just a couple of things. Now, I used to teach this in the union, advanced blueprint reading and drawing. And isometric drawing is so good because literally you can show someone an isometric drawing, they can see how it lays out, what fittings they're gonna need, and it makes it really simple to do. Number one, you need the right tools. Now, I love using just an architectural rule. Now, it's scaled in feet and inches, so I love that. I know that's not architectural. But a mechanical pencil, because I tend to push too hard and break my lid sometimes. Now, some people use a 30, 60, 90 square. Look, I like it, I get it, but my thing is, if you've got isometric paper that already has the 60 degree lines drawn on it, it really does make it very easy to do. And the way that I'm gonna show you to do it today, this makes it simple. So let's go ahead and jump in. And I'm gonna show you this drawing from four different angles, okay? And I'm gonna teach you how to figure out when you're looking at it, which angle you're looking from. Now we built this jig, this little piece here of a popping system. Now, it just comes up, it goes over, it turns, it increases, it tees off, it goes up and down, it caps off and it's got a 45 on it. So, I'm gonna draw this and I'm gonna show you how to do it very, very simple. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the angle that we're doing it from. Now, since I'm looking at it from right here, I'm gonna do the southwest view. So, I'm gonna draw my compass down here in the corner and then I'm gonna mark it. North, south, if that's north, that's south. This is east. And that's west. Okay, so I know what's north and south. Here's what I'm gonna to do to start drawing this. First of all, we're gonna look right here, and I've already measured these out. I know I've got 13 inches up, four inches, eight inches, 12 inches, six and six. So I know my measurements. And I'll, I like to draw it pretty close to scale. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna draw, and this is from the end of the center, so I'm gonna draw a 13 inch line going up and down. The things you need to remember about an isometric drawing is it's north and south, east, west, up and down. Nothing else changes. So I'm gonna draw it here in the center of the page. So I'm gonna put a dot right here where my angle lines intersect. And then I'm gonna count up 13 intersections. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I'm gonna put a dot there. Now I don't need that big of a dot, I'm really doing it just so y'all can see it. I just wanna make sure that my line starts and ends right where it's supposed to. Now there's my 13 inches. Now. Like I said, I've got four inches here, and if you look at this, it's going north. So I look back down here at my corner, at my compass, and I know that I need to go north four intersections. Now the way that I'm drawing this, I've got each intersection as an inch. Now, if I wanted to reduce this down because I was gonna put a lot of drawings on here, I could have set an intersection is three inches or four inches or two inches or whatever I wanted to do to make it smaller, but I decided that's not what I wanted to do. So I go north four inches, then I go east three inches to the reducer and five inches to the T. So I'm gonna go east three and five inches. So I look down here and east is this way. So east at three, my T at five, very simple to do. Now what I can do, I can go ahead and draw my reducer in, and I like to come back a little bit behind the intersection. There's my symbol. Now, I've got six inches each direction going north and south, so I look down here, six inches north. 
six inches south. Now, going north, that line goes down six inches. So my north line, I'm gonna bring down. I would see this first if I were looking at it like that. So I'm gonna draw my six inch line So there's my first drawing, okay? Now, right here, I've got a 45. And the 45 comes up and to the west. So I can look at this and see where the west is and know it's gonna turn. But you're gonna have to subscribe and come back to the next video, the more advanced one, where I do the 45 degree angles. So right now, here we are from the southeast point of view. Now, if I were drawing this for screw pipe or something before we go, I could come in and put all the brakes. And what this does, this lets anybody doing a takeoff know that I've got fittings right there. And I always draw my fittings, all my brakes in line with the isometric drawings. Even a flange down here. I know that I've got a, a ceiling flange here on the bottom. So here's my southeast drawing, and we'll get over here and we'll look at this in a minute and show you how I see it from where I see it. So this time I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do an east-north drawing. Just like I did before, I'm gonna mark my 12 inch or 13 inch line. Now remember, I go four inches north. So I look down here and north is back this way this time. Mark my four inches. Then I go three and five to the east. Once I get the east, I go north and south six inches each direction. This one has a cap. And that one has a 45. So, there's my view from the northeast side. And just to show that they don't tie together, I do, I break that line again. Even though that one's in the front, I want them to be able to see that's the way it is. And I can even go ahead and draw my cap on there if I want to. And they'll see that that doesn't tie together. But guys, what we've done is we've done four different isometric drawings. And I wanna show you now how these look compared to what we're looking at. Okay. So let's look at this one, a southwest view. So here's the south, here's the west. So this is the southwest, as you can see right here on the bottom. So if I turn and look at this, it looks just like I'm looking at it from this angle. So right here, you're looking at this from the southwest view. Well, here's the southwest view. If you look at it from this angle, this is exactly what you're seeing, okay? That's how you learn to look at this. This one here is from a southeast view, right here. Comes up, over, down, up, just like that. Now, the easy way to remember these when you're drawing them, it's a roadmap. When you look at a set of prints or you look at anything at all, if you're trying to build something there, you build it here. If you're looking at a set of prints, figure out where Blueprint North is and draw it accordingly. That way, if you're trying to hand someone an isometric drawings and say, this is what you're going to draw, you're gonna create an isometric drawing to where they can look at it just like this. Up and down, north, south, east, and west. It's a road map. So if you see this on a plan view drawing, the up and down is just up and down. You've got to know that part. You can go left for six or right for six. That's what you've got. Right is south, left is north. This is a road map. If you're telling someone how to get here, you tell them go up, go north four, go east three, go east five, get it? go north six or go south six, and then back to up and down. 
That is the easiest way to explain an isometric drawing. So guys, we'll do a more advanced one where we cover 45s and things like that. So if you enjoyed this, remember, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. If you know somebody that's having problems with isometric drawings, or you know someone that would just be benefited by learning how to do isometric drawings, please share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this one, I really think you'll like this one.